What is going on guys today? We are looking at Gronerville, the 88 left wing for what is it, Bournemouth? I completely forgot who they were there. But he has had a lovely upgrade from a 75 common gold all the way up to this 88. It is a left mid normally, or he is normally a left mid, but he is now obviously a left wing in my position. He's only 24 years old. He's had three FIFAs, FIFA 19 for Club Bruges as a 73 left mid in silver. He's had a 76 left mid common for obviously for Bournemouth and then he has had obviously this 75 this year as well as now an 88 so the highest rated card he has achieved in FIFA other than his pro card if he does play FIFA himself he has got the flair trait and stat wise he looks decent he's coming in at 38,000 coins which normally means that he's a little bit better than the bog standard 15 to 20k players and obviously he is in kind of like that mid tier you've got the likes of Pookie, Tony, Clark Harris who are that little bit more expensive so I'm interested. Personally, out of my EFL guaranteed, I got Krull. I was going to be so happy that we managed to get the left mid if that did turn up. But unfortunately, we got the goalkeeper, which is a standard. Obviously, in terms of stats, we're looking pretty nice. Great acceleration. Sprint speed's lovely. We've gone with the marksman, which will obviously get up his shooting, dribbling, and physical. It would take his shooting to 94, his dribbling to 97, and his physicals to 85. So if we are looking at them, composure's already nice. Agility, balance are decent. We've got great finishing, which goes up to 96 with a plus 10. Obviously, shot power goes up to 98, and long shots goes up to 97. We've already got 85 short pass, which is absolutely fine 78 long which again i'm absolutely fine with 88 crossing which is decent he is right footed something to just add but he is the four star four star which is very nice strength goes up to 90 we've already got 89 stamina again brilliant and 83 jumping other than that we obviously get the 99 ball control and dribbling which is pretty decent as well so let's jump into gronerveld's review and hopefully we can see what he can do into Gronerveld himself. Semedo is going to take it off him, but he does manage to win it back. What can we find with him? Obviously, the four star skills, so he's got a little bit of ability. Oh, I think that's Varane just coming in last second there. Gronerveld down a wing. Can we find it? It feels like Pookie might actually be faster than him, to be honest. Do hit into Kaliba, who is a fantastic right back. So we're going to have to really work this guy just to kind of make it down the wing to be honest so let's see what we can get there oh we may be offside or we might get the foul in fact first let's see him on the run gonna go for that one two with Roberto Carlos if he didn't get tackled pretty much instantly there can we get the one two with Roberto Carlos this time he's gonna try and go down the wing pace is not quite there with him Roberto Carlos managing to keep up just literally not finding the space for him at the moment Lovely defensive Jews from him. Just need to find him in that space. At the minute, Roberto Carlos is doing more as a left mid than he is at the moment. I'm not... I don't know. He just... He seems like he should be a good card. Like, the stats read it. Just in general, everything about that card looks nice. And yeah, I'm actually probably enjoying Pookie more than I am him. Pookie down the wing. Can we find... We're going to go for the right-footed smash. Can he get it? He's got the head, absolutely beautiful stuff, just off a stray shot, just randomly hit the keeper. Obviously, sometimes you can get a bit of luck with EA Magic and got the rebound and his first goal of the competition. Literally, as I was just saying, that I'm not a big fan of him at the moment. He just seems like he's just not really pushing that position. He's kind of, his pace is not everywhere. Maybe we will find something with him, but at the moment, he still needs to impress me. Finds the inside. Nearly takes it past the keeper. Gonna find it down the wing. We've got Makalele trying to cover. Can we find Pookie potentially? He's going to go with it all on his own. <laughs> Basic mistake. We've got him again. He's going to find the inside instead. Go with the heel to heel into the Berber spin. I thought we might have been able to take two of them in one then. Finding him down the wing. He's going to try and cut in. Get the finesse. Oh, Pookie's going to finish it in for him. Beautiful stuff. Gronerfeld. Um, to be honest with him, um, 
I don't know, I'm not, not necessarily disappointed, but I felt like he would have been better than what he is. It just seems like it's a little bit lackluster and very, very basic. Not really getting involved too much, even with the amount of passes we're giving him. He's really just not not delivering. And that, for me, is a... Is a I don't know. I, I just thought he looked better than he should be. And it's a shame that he isn't. But it may be just an off game for him. Or an off few games, to be fair. Because it's not even just that I'm playing one or two. This is like the fourth game now due, due to people quitting quite easily. Then I would have thought he'd have probably been somewhat good in at least one of the games and I think we've seen a rebound goal a couple of runs down a wing nothing really too spectacular with him which again is a little bit disappointing with him I'm not saying that he can't do anything but I just think that he definitely portrays that he is better than what he is does find that cross to Pookie though Allison with a big knee save though oh does make the tackle I like that can we go with a one two with Pookie Oh, he's made that far too easy for him. He's going with it. He's going to find the inside into Pookie. He's going to tap it past Allison. That is much more like it. Literally, I feel like all I need to do is tell this guy that he's rubbish and he just manages to do stomach. it. <laughs> That's a cracking ball over. Come on. Oh, he's managed to keep it. Just a simple around. Finally absolutely fantastic he holds off the defender very very botchly to be honest you probably could play that 10 times over and probably eight out of the 10 times he gets tackled there but manages to hold on gets third away from the keeper and it's just a simple slot home in the bottom left what a tackle very very much a, a kind of a random just throw it at your tackle and he manages to get the ball back can he keep that in as well it's going to flick it. I don't know why I flicked it. I should have just tried to take control. Down the wing. Oh, that's poor. That's very poor. Went for, I went for the ball roll more than anything. Oh, it's lovely. It's round him. What can we find? Finesse. Ooh, I think Van Dijk was in, in between the goal and the ball there, though. What a block. That's an interception and a half. One, two. It's lovely. Oh, does get the penalty. I've literally reactions just hit in. We take the shot. It goes underneath Allison and he gives me a penalty. And normally whoever wins it takes it. So I think Groneveld is going to take this one if we can actually change the player. Once he got 79. A little bit stinky, but we'll give it a go. That's beautiful. Slots it past him. So then, going into Groneveld's overall, I, I, I actually was a bit disappointed with him. He kind of picked it up towards the end, but I think the damage was already done. I felt like my opinion was already set after the second or third game. He just didn't seem to really get involved as much. And this may be a completely out the works, uh, out the kind of like box out of everybody's opinion people may really like this card and i think there's times where he played really well but in terms of kind of being constantly involved really putting himself out there he just didn't do it for me he managed to get a couple of goals in managed to get a few um tap-ins a few kind of nice little cut-ins but in in kind of its overall feel just didn't feel any spark with him. When you play with the likes of a Javinho for birthday, a Saar team of the season, then you like the, the Manes, the Salas, the very, very quick wingers. I expected it from him. I felt like the stats on the base were, were setting him up quite nicely. I know he's only 38,000 coins, but I felt like there was going to be something there with him. And unfortunately, he is good, but... Not quite what I was looking for from a team of the season with the stats that he possesses. Obviously turned him into a 92 rated left wing with a marksman. Obviously gets 85 physical, 94 shooting and 97 dribbling with already 95 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. I just felt like this card could have been something spectacular. He's a four star, four star as well, which is always good. That is obviously a good mark in my books. Unfortunately, he's only got flair as a trait. And I think in terms of generation, yeah, we've only got three games of him. But if I was to be kind of realistic with him his pace is good it, it did feel quite fast shooting was okay but unfortunately not quite the the finishing that i would actually want dribbling wise was decent again 
it, it seems better than than uh, on the stat card than it did in the game. But overall, I'm going to have to mark him down just for my opinion on him. I feel like I'm going to have to give him an 8.2 out of 10. Let me know down below what you think about him. Just a quick one with him as I thought I expected better. Let me know down below if I'm wrong or you think he's actually bad as well.